In this video, we're going to learn how to modify our portrait and fine-tune facial features using On One Portrait AI. So I'm just going to zoom in real quick so that I can see all of the details in my portrait here. And then I can head over to the Portrait AI filter. Now let's first start with the retouching slider here. I typically pull this all the way to 100 if I'm modifying any of the details in my Details menu here. Now in my Details, I typically keep this retouching method at frequency separation. And for this portrait, let's just pull up on the blemishes just a hair. There aren't many in this portrait, but just to make sure they're nice and smooth, let's just pull this up. And then I'm gonna pull up on this detail slider here. And that's gonna add back some texture of skin back into the portrait. Then let's just pull up on the smoothing a bit and that's gonna smooth out the skin textures and make sure everything looks soft and natural. So I think that looks good just like that. Let's just turn this off and on so we can see what it's looking like. It may be a little intense, but we can always pull back on this retouching slider. So I can pull back on this a little bit to make sure it looks natural on the skin. Now we can go down to this face option here. And because it recognizes all of the faces in our portraits, we don't have to go in and identify anything or mask anything in we can just modify the slider and it adjusts on our portrait. So in the face area, if we want to add in some exposure to the face, all we have to do is pull up on this brightness slider and it will add in some light to the mask on the face. We can also slim the face. So if our client asks to be thinner in the camera, we can always pull up on the slim face slider and that will slim out the face a bit. We can then use these two sliders to modify the eye sizes. So if we have one eye that needs to be a bit bigger, like this left eye here, we can just pull up on this left eye size and it will even out the eye size in the frame. We can then go down to our eyes area and we can modify any whitening or details with the eyes. So let's pull up on the whitening slider here and just add in a bit more whitening to our eyes and then we'll add in some detail as well. Then if there's any dark circles underneath the eyelids, we can pull up on this dark circles slider and it will incorporate a bit more light underneath there to remove any dark circles underneath the eyes. Now let's just enhance the eyebrows a bit. I'm just gonna pull up on this brow enhance slider and that's gonna incorporate contrast and some texture into the eyebrow area. And then we can modify the look of the mouth as well. So if we wanna add in some lip vibrance and add in a bit of color, we can pull up on this Lip Vibrance slider to make them really red. And then we can add in some brightness as well to incorporate some exposure there. Maybe like that, maybe a bit more vibrance. And then if we want to change the hue or the color, we can just modify this hue slider. Maybe make them a bit darker. So now let's go up and let's turn this off and on. And it does a great job of smoothing out all of the skin and adding in some detail to all of the different facial features that we wanted to modify. And we can always pull back on this opacity slider to modify the entirety of that filter. Keep in mind the opacity is modifying the entirety of the filter, whereas this retouching slider is only modifying this details area.